Hey guys, so I am changing up my development workflow. Now, I spend a lot of my time coding React, and so I just wanna basically optimize my workflow for coding with React. And so what I have been doing before is I'll be using Visual Studio Code. That's what I have right here. And I'll code stuff here, and then I'll just like switch over and I'll have a Chrome up and I'll switch between that and Chrome like this and maybe I'll have terminal up and I'll switch between those like that um, but what I really would like my workflow to be is more of like stay in one place like uh, I'd like to have like a terminal right here um, and maybe some more windows to do have multiple files open at once I know you can split screen with this here too and do the console but it's a little bit jankier. I like having it all in the terminal and having multiple screens. That's what I like my workflow to be. So I'm trying to get get to that point. And this is what I want is something kind of like this. This is what I have set up right now. And there's three things that I just changed up. One, the shell that I'm using, uh, the themes that I'm using, so the colors are different. And I also did a rework of my uh, Vim settings, so Vim is more enjoyable and like ramp it up to use um, React because it was not set up to do React pretty much before. So I'm not there yet, but I want to show you guys what I've done, what I don't like so far, and like what I need to do. So, so far, as you can see, I have one color scheme here. For actually, before we get into color schemes, you'll notice here's what my terminal looks like. Here's what a regular terminal screen looks like you'll see I have a little bit different theme for that and also it looks different and the reason for that is I switched from Z shell to fish um, and so the main reason for this is just to try a different shell um, this is not like to optimize for react or anything or that I think this is better for react I just have heard really good things about shell or about fish and I wanted to give it a try and I thought I'm changing up some other stuff why not change for fish now and see if I like it and I'm actually really enjoying it I really like the autocomplete feature I know you could probably get this set up for Z shell too but I set up like fish came out of the box set up and I just been using it. it's been really nice so for example here's me seeding and hey look um, it pops me in a couple folders deep already I can just auto complete that and that was just like the last folder I went to or something and then you can see it also like shorthand so you don't have this long path so a DP and then live coding really like that bunch of cool little things um, that it gives you so switch the fish shell um, that was really nice I'm really enjoying that so I'm definitely gonna keep that and continue using fish shell um, over Z shell right now because I'm liking the differences it is a little bit weird because sometimes um, it's not compliant with just bash um, I don't know the technical details of what's different but all I know is sometimes stuff does not work the same um, for example uh, setting variables so this is how they set environment variables whereas I think it's like export I did in Z shell something like that it could be set to but the difference is like the uh, equal sign here you do space but like little things like that are different in fish shell but it's not too big of a deal and then I'm also with that using this uh, framework called oh my fish just to make it easy to set things up and uh, keep stuff updated and download packages and themes with that so using this and I'll put all these links to what I'm using in the uh, description below so now with that um, I also have the groove box theme and that's what you see like this little brown I was using before solarize for a while and I just thought well let's give it a little change I've been using it for a while um, so this is the new one that I'm using for my terminal really like it and this terminal is iterm2 by the way if you're wondering you can see that here and so this is the theme it's really nice uh, they also have a light version but I'm I like the dark themes better and then that's pretty much all there is to this um, to the terminal and the shell itself so what I'd like to do is have you know so this is using tmux right now uh, to split the screen that's nothing new I've used tmux before um, but I changed up my vim and I've also uh, I have actually a very hard time finding like getting my 
them set up for react that was actually a big struggle i'm pretty happy with like splitting the panes and like what it looks like like this is you know i can do different stuff um split it, how i'm splitting it and stuff but uh that's not too big of a deal but right now i like i, I like every, the only thing that I'm, I'm not liking right now is how vim is set up so i want to show you guys that the first thing i don't like is my color scheme this is like the best color scheme I could find. Um, let me know if you guys what you guys use for them that looks good in React. I don't think this looks very good. Maybe it's because I'm not setting it up right. I spent a ton of time trying to set all this stuff up. It took a really long time. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I did to like, in case you have this struggle with setting up the theme with Tmux and um, them, just get the colors right. So right now that theme that you see that's kind of like faded, it's called Nova. Um, but like, look, they have import salutation and salutations blue. Mine's not blue, import, that's not blue there, but I would like it to be blue. I think it looks nice with blue. But then if I come down to their Vim, see, see how that kind of looks whitish? So it matches there. But I'm not in love with this color theme, so let me know if there's a theme you use that works really well with React. Now this, I actually don't even have a React project up. Let me pull up a React project so you guys can see what React looks like with this. So go up one, um, yeah. This will be source, not publics, source index. So here's some React. You notice how all the tags are just that yellow not don't care for this I don't like how this looks personally it's not terrible um, I just really enjoy this theme <laughs> that comes with this I guess all the tags for this might be also let's see what this looks like for react well actually it's gonna take a second to pull up don't worry about it but anyway I really like what the theme looks like for Visual Studio code and I actually like try to look up if they had some preferences color theme. I tried to look up if they had this dark plus theme for um, what's it called Vim, but I couldn't find it. And I just can't find a nice satisfying theme for Vim that I like. I don't like how the text is very white here. I like how there's a lot of contrast. Um, I really like this theme basically. So a theme kind of like this um, where there's lots of colors, nothing's just white. Like I like how these are white, but like the words themselves and stuff. I like how this looks. So that was one thing that I was like, I wish my Vim looked like that, and I couldn't find one. Another theme that I considered was one dark that looked decent, but honestly, a ton of themes look terrible. Um, just with React and with JavaScript, the ES6, that just doesn't mesh nicely. So that was a big struggle trying to get the theme to look nice. Now I wanna show you guys some of the configuration I changed with React, or not React, for, for React and for JavaScript the, with my Vim file. So here on my left side, I have Vim, uh, the Vim RC, and on the right, I have the Tmux RC. Um, I didn't really change much, much with my Tmux, um, except for this stuff at the bottom to get the color themes working. So if you have a problem with the themes looking different for Tmux versus um, not Tmux, this is something to try out. Make sure you do these two lines here. Um, it has to do with true colors. Um, another thing is in my Vim over here, you have to set GUI, set term GUI colors. I was also doing this let nvim 2e enable true color. This thing was messing things up, so I had to comment it out. But there's lots of different advice, lots of different places to get this to work, and I was trying all kinds of stuff and finally got to work after a really long time. You need these these two thingies. But okay, so I stripped a lot of plugins out that I just wasn't using. And so I just wanted to go down to the basics that I need and want. So I just wanna go over real quick what I have left. Um, so two essentials, Vim JavaScript, Vim JSX. This is for syntax highlighting in JavaScript and spacing and just making sure stuff looks nice in JavaScript and when doing React. So this one's for JavaScript. The JSX, of course, is for React. Um, so those are really nice. Um, Deoplete is for auto-completing. Um, so pretty straightforward. Deoplete Jedi is for Python auto-completing. I actually am not doing a lot of Python these days. 
Um, so I could probably delete this volume, but I kept it in because why not? Vim Tmux. You see how I can hop my cursors between these two screens easily? And while I'm in Vim and Tmux, that's what that does. Um, Nerd Commenter just allows me to easily comment stuff. So those are the same. Nerd Tree, I can pull up. Um, okay. So I can pull up a directory if I want to. And is there any Nova theme is my Nova Vim is the theme and then ale. This is for doing ESLint. So that's what I have and I'm pretty happy with the plugins right now. This stuff's the same. I'll show you guys what changed in my VimRC setting the theme, this stuff right here. I actually wonder if I change to get rid of the background. I don't think Nova wanted me to set the background to dark. I wonder what that'll change. Anyway, another day. Um, yes, at the bottom here, that was the one other thing I had trouble getting to work was prettier ESLint. So that was the one thing I really liked about re, um, Visual Studio Code. It made it really easy. You just set up prettier ESLint, um, which formats your JavaScript code and makes it look nice and formats it correctly with ESLint. Um, so ale, you can set it up with fixers and they'll fix, it'll run it for you. But there's actually, looks like there's a problem with it right now. Here's an issue that was 11 days ago. So we have uh, this guy who's trying to set up Prettier ESLint. And basically, so I can get ESLint to work, or Prettier ESLint to work fine. But what the problem is, is it's not using the um, ESLint RC file that's in the uh, like directory of my project. So it's doing the wrong ESLint rules. And this is the dude that runs the project, Warp, and he just says, I don't think there's anything we can do at the moment. So basically, Prettier ESLint, I can't get set up to read the ESLint RC file correctly and do it right. So that's the other thing I couldn't get to set up and that was super annoying. So right now, I actually don't really want to use Vim to code because I can't, one, I don't like my theme as much. Two, I can't get Prettier ESLint to work. Um, when it when it does, like when it runs, it does not do the, read the ESLint file, ESLint RC file in my project. So it's not help, be helpful just formatting it randomly. So if I can get those things set up, I'd love to code like this and get this something like this set up where I have, I'm basically coding in Vim and have my terminals set up over here. Terminal set up over there is easy with Tmux, but I really like to have Vim set up nicely. So the only thing pretty much the, like, that I'm annoyed at right now with Vim is the color scheme and the prettier ESLint. Can get those working, I will start using it. But until then, I think I'm just gonna continue using um, just Visual Studio Code because it just works. That's the other thing that I'm kind of annoyed at with uh, Vim is I have to keep coming in and editing stuff and fixing stuff whereas Visual Studio Code just works. And like I was fiddling with all this stuff to get this work for a really long time, like almost two days, like the whole day is dedicated to getting, like just setting up my environment, which is super annoying. And setting up the environment, what I mean by that is literally just getting the color themes to load correctly, the colors to load, um, to get plugins installed, configure the plugins, all that jazz was super annoying. Um, this problem took me a long time to figure out, to get don't use this, use the term GUI, and then to have both of those, oops, in my um, Tmux RC, or Tmux comp, took me a while. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Let me know if you guys are able to get Prejudice Slint to work nicely in Vim. I'd love to use it. I'd really like to use Vim with this. And let me know what theme you're using, and if you like it, and it, if it looks nice with uh, React because I really want to use this in code in here, but I don't like it at the moment. So I'll probably pretty much just like use this as a uh, split terminals and then code in uh, this. But what I will be keeping, I'm really enjoying fish shell. I, that was a pleasant surprise. And I do like my theme right now for the terminal. Um, I think it's pretty good. Let me know if this is easy to read too. Um, I can definitely switch it if it's hard for you guys to see this compared to Solarize. I don't know compared to Solarize how this looks for videos. Um, yeah, this like I can live with the theme being slightly bad, but the pretty ESLint thing too is just annoying. 
So yeah, I'm gonna try to debug those, try to get those to work probably some tomorrow and see if I can, but I'll put my, uh, I'll update my, these two files on uh, my config files on GitHub so you guys can check it out if you want to follow what I have here. Um, but I do recommend definitely if you're doing React and Vim, Ale, JSX, JavaScript, and uh, what's it called? Diopleted is nice as well, just with some nice auto completion. I think, do I have ESLint anywhere? No. So I think Ale just does ESLint by default. Let me show you guys what uh, Ale looks like. So let's close. Let's close. So, okay, so I have NPM up there. I wanted to show, okay, so this is what Ale looks like. This is ESLint errors right here. So pretty nice. I think that, that was nice to get the ESLint warnings and then I think this is a pretty good. So yeah, I'll be experimenting with that. Um, I'd like to just kind of like live over here in terminal and not have to switch between terminal and my code editor over here as much. It's not too bad because I'm, you know, not switching too often. But that'd be just a nice little optimization. Um, but Visual Studio Code's working pretty nice for me, so I'll probably just continue using that for the time being until I get Vim where I like it, and then I'll switch back over to Vim. And uh, yeah, so all these guys here I'll put up on, oops, I'll put up on the description below so you guys can check it out if you wanted to do any of these themes or set up Fish Shell, which I would recommend Fish Shell, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, and that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.